Howdy, hot shots. Beaming to you from not a financial advisor land with some not financial advice. It's Kevin from Earth2 Mastery, one of your top 49 favorite virtual investing YouTubers. And tonight we try to take over the world. So grab your wallet because I'm going to show you how to stick some Omi in there. Omi is my homie. Say Omi is my homie down for the algos. Make sure you're subbed up because we're talking about virtual investing, whether it be cryptocurrency, games like Earth2.io, which I'm involved in, uh, or NFT. So we do all things virtual investing here. And I've had a lot of people asking me how they can store their Ecomi in an exterior wallet outside of BitMax or BitForex. Uh, personally, I'm waiting. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm waiting for them to tell me where I can stake my Ecomi. If I can stake my Ecomi in app, I'll be doing it there. If I can stake my Ecomi in their own proprietary secure wallet, I'll have to buy one of those because I want early access to the NFTs. I buy those. I just got myself a uh, Batman yesterday. So that's the first Batman that I have. It's from Series 2. I kind of uh, kicked it back and forth and didn't get one from Series 1, unfortunately, because um, I had spent my money on a couple Harley Quinns. But now I've got myself my first Batman, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, but I'll be trying to get access to rare collectibles. I'll be trying to get early drops and stuff like that. So I want to stake my Ecomi because I'm diamond handsing it. I'm hodling it for a long time. I told you, I got my great aunt Gertrude. I can't tell you what to do, but I could tell great aunt Gertrude what to do. And I said, gag, you got to have them diamond hands. That's why I call her gag for great aunt Gertrude. I go, you got to have them diamond hands. You got to hodl, right? Ain't no paper hands in this household. So I'm um, trying to stake my Ecomi so I can get some special rewards. But here we go. I will put links to these two pages down in the description below so it's easy for you to find. Let's walk through the process for storing on MetaMask first because that's what I'm going to do. I'll have to do another video for Trust Wallet uh, because I just want this one to be for MetaMask. That's the one I already know how to do and that's the one uh, that I can already show you. So here is a picture of that Ecomi Secure Wallet if you're interested close to about 200 bucks and I think they're sold out now too so you can't really get one anyway uh, let's go down to MetaMask where's that oh there it is MetaMask I thought I lost you okay uh, so here's the custom token address for Ecomi you're gonna have to have that so copy that first because that's a long command C I just copy because I don't know how to type good okay then I go over here to this how to use go chain with MetaMask I got all my deets right here. Okay, you see those deets that I need? Them are them deets. Okay, so I pull up my MetaMask. Let's do that. And you're gonna see that I already have GoChain on there because I walked through this before I did it with you because, you know, I don't wanna be a fool any more than I already am. So I've already got GoChain on there, but let's just walk through the process so that you know what you do is you go to custom RPC. Now, it's not going to let me add a second one, but we can go through the process for you here. So you start typing go chain. See, I've already typed it once, so I got it there. New RPC URL. I'm going to start typing, but it's going to be there. Boom, go chain. Now, see, it says URL is already present in existing list of networks. And then your chain ID is a 60 right here. That's about all the information that you need. And then you hit save. Okay, I'm just going to cancel out of there because I already got it. So then it looks like this and you can go to your GoChain network. When you go to your GoChain network, get out of there. When you go to your GoChain network, it's going to look like this, except Ecomi is not going to be there because you still have to add Ecomi as a token. Okay, so Ecomi is there for me right now. I don't see a way to remove it. Uh, even when I removed GoChain and I came back and put GoChain back in, Ecomi was still there. So I'm just going to have to show you how to do it. You hit add token. It's a custom token. So you hit custom token. Then that address that we copied from over there, you're going to paste it right in there. Okay. Now it says tokens already been added because it's mine. It will auto fill OMI right here. Then you hit next. Okay. And it's still not done until you hit save token. So you hit save token and then it's going to look just like mine. Right. Let's go out of here. It's going to look uh, just like mine where Ecomi shows up down there below. Okay. And then you could go in there and check your Ecomi balance. You can send or swap if you use Uniswap or PancakeSwap or whatever, I guess. Uh, but I'm not withdrawing there yet because I want to wait and see where I can stake it. Okay. Um, then what you need to do is you need to go to your BitForex account 
or your BitMEX account, wherever you're at, and you want to hit withdraw. Here's my Ecomi. You go to withdraw. And now what you have to do here, oh, this is really exciting. Look, they only charge you one Ecomi to withdraw at BitForex again. Remember, like just a week ago, it was like 2,000 Ecomi to withdraw. Uh, this is way better, way better, because now you can make smaller withdrawals so that you can test it. The minimum that you have to transfer is 5,000. Uh, so you can't draw, withdraw a really tiny amount, but you can withdraw 5,000 uh, before you withdraw all of the millions you guys are telling me you're buying. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous that you have millions because I don't have that many. Um, but uh, you can withdraw 5,000 to test out your wallet and everything. Make sure that everything is done correctly. Uh, make sure that you know what you're doing before you withdraw a bunch at once, right? And even at one Ecomi, man, you could just afford to withdraw 5,000 at a time the whole time. Uh, even if you have a million, I mean, that's not that many. Uh, that's like uh, 200 Ecomi that you would be paying. So that's only $2 for all of those withdrawals. That's a really great deal. Okay, so with your withdrawal addresses, you have to add a frequently used address, okay? So you go in here and you type in whatever you want to type in. Uh, let's call it K Wallet for Kevin. And then you go to your withdrawal address and that's the number that you're going to need from over on your MetaMask. So pull up your MetaMask, okay? Mm -hmm. there it comes there it comes okay so you have to make sure you're on go chain don't give them your ethereum address oh my gosh that would be terrible right so you have to go down here to go chain and then you have to click that right there to get it copied and then you want to add it over here to your withdrawal addresses so you add k wallet and then you put in a withdrawal address command v there's your withdrawal address and then you have to click down here to your email verification code. You hit send, and then it gives you a minute while it sends it. You go copy that, put it in there. You hit confirm, and then if you have multiple factor authentication on your thing like me, it will also send you a text message with a code. You have to confirm that. Boom, already did that. Okay, so then you go to choose your withdrawal address. Right here, you see I've already got Kevin's MetaMask right there, so I would choose that. And then say I want to withdraw my 5,000 OMI. I type in my 5,000 OMI and my transaction fee is only one. Oh my gosh, so cheap. I hit submit and 10 to 20 minutes later, I'm in Valhalla with my Ecomi and my MetaMask wallet, right? Okay, so uh, I watched several videos to make sure that this was the correct process for doing this. I didn't want somebody to be misleading us. Uh, and this is a very consistent way that people are saying to do this. So that's how you transfer from BitForex. You might be more experienced with MetaMask uh, than I am. Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you think I did something wrong. I will find out how to do it for Trust Wallet with you guys too and show you how to do that. And believe me, when I know about staking, you guys are going to be the first ones to know. So make sure you're subbed up for all these VV and Ecomi announcements and staking announcements and any new coin that I find too. Uh, I'll talk about new coins. Even if I don't like them, I'll just tell you I don't like them. And if I like the coin, I'll tell you I like the coin. Okay, guys, I'll see you later.